So let us start customizing the behavior of uh, HDFS. So VI and uh, I'm opening the configuration file here. And we are primarily focused on customizing HDFS properties. So WH is the agent name, syncs. HD is the sync name. And then to get the properties names, we can go here. So file prefix, I want to change it to flume demo. File. Prefix. Flume demo. And then file suffix. I want to store it in a txt extension. So I have uh, defined it as .txt. I would like to uh, uh, keep the in use prefix and in use suffix as is. And now let me change this role interval, role size, and role count. Earlier, when it was defaults, you can see approximately every 1KB or so um, it is being rolled out. It could be whenever there are 10 messages in the file, whenever it reaches 1KB threshold, or whenever the timestamp is reached. If any of these things, uh, 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 if any of these thresholds reached, will trigger um, the rotation of this file. So now I would like to change these properties. Okay, so the first property which I want to change is role size. Okay, role size I want to, uh, sorry, role interval. Role interval I want to keep it at two minutes wh dot sinks dot hd dot okay there is one problem with the property file names it has to be hdfs everywhere okay so here it has to be hdfs dot hdfs dot and then hdfs dot role Interval, role size, and role count. Role interval. I want to keep it at 120. Role size. I want to keep it at 1, 1 MB, not 1 KB. So 1024 into 1024, which is 1048576. One zero four eight five seven six, which will be one MB, and then I can say roll size, and then roll count. I will keep it hundred. Default is ten. Now I make it hundred, and more importantly, I want to change the file size. And the property for that is, sorry, I want to change the file type, not file size. And the property for that is file type and value should be data stream. So file type equal to data stream. By default, it is sequence file. Now save this and exit. Now let us, start running the agent so now we will see that files will not be rotated that often because we have changed the properties okay 
so that we can validate by running Hadoop FS hyphen LS here. So this is the new one which is still in with dot emp extension once one of those uh, thresholds uh, uh, is reached that is 100 messages or 1 mb or 120 seconds you will see a new file being created uh, this dot emp file will be rotated you can see here now the file size is 8 kb let us see which threshold it has reached. Hadoop fs hyphen cat. Copy this file name. And you can see that prefix is changed to flume demo. And there is the extension of .txt. Paste here and hit enter. There are n number of messages. Let us get the number of messages by saying wc hyphen l. You can see 43 messages. So it actually reached two minute threshold. That's why um, uh, it actually rotated. Now we can validate once again and see if a new file is uh, rotated. Yes, uh, there's one more uh, which is rotated, but I'm not sure why it is actually rotated even when the count is not 120 or time is two minutes i don't know why so let me open the configuration file most likely there should be some issues with the property names yeah it is actually rotating every 30 seconds because there's a typo in a role interval. It is actually rotating every 30 seconds, not 120 seconds as we were expecting. So it's a bug in our code. So now I'm killing this. And then restarting once again. Now we will see. Still two minutes are not done. And let us see the logs, how it is going. We can wait until uh, the message comes here that the .emp file is being named to permanent file. You can also check serializer is text. And now you can see that uh, it has closed the .emp file and it renamed .emp to permanent file and that we can validate from here. Okay, so it is 20 KB file and also you can actually say Hadoop fs cat copy this paste wc l and hit enter you can see the threshold it has actually reached is 100 messages. So when it reaches 100 messages, it's almost two minutes. So it's just a coincidence and it just rotated the file. Okay, so these three properties are very, very important when you are actually trying to get uh, hundreds of thousands of rows at a very, uh, uh, very frequent and low interval. Okay, so by default roll interval is 30 seconds, roll size is 1 KB. Uh, it is in bytes and roll count is uh, 10. And you can actually set these values to zero to disable any of these properties. So if you just want to roll every two minutes, you can set 
uh, roll size and roll count to zeros. If you want to roll, once the file is reached 1 MB, you can set roll interval and roll count to 0 and roll size to 1 MB. If you want to capture 10,000 messages uh, and then you, you want to roll, then you can set roll count to 10,000 and you can disable roll size and roll interval by setting it to 0. So it is very, very important. That being said, as of now, if you look at the file names, the file names have the Unix timestamp, but quite often we might want to uh, have dates rather than uh, timestamp and, uh, appended with the file name. Or at the directory level, we, we might want to capture the dates and there is a way to do so and we will see that a bit later, not now. So we will actually get a bit advanced features on HDFS when we try to integrate Flume with Kafka, with Spark streaming, etc. So for now, this is good enough uh, to start with Flume integrating data to HDFS. And you should understand all these basic properties and, uh, uh, and uh, be as comfortable as possible.